So last meeting, we have discussed about the ethical perspective of entrepreneurship. Today, we will be discussing about the social responsibility of entrepreneurs. So for our objectives, first today we must explain the differences or the difference between social entrepreneurs and traditional entrepreneurs. Next, we will define social responsibility and understand the nature of businesses' responsibility to the environment, to the customers, to the investors, and to the community. So, let us first understand what are the aspects do you think, class, must we consider to become socially responsible entrepreneurs? So, should it be financially only or should it be production aspect or the organizational aspect? So, are entrepreneurs only fixated on business alone or on making profit, on creating wealth? So, let us first explain the difference between social entrepreneurs and traditional entrepreneurs. So, traditional entrepreneurs are known to be the business entrepreneurs which measures their success with financial metrics such as uh, revenue and profit and return of investment. So, for your information, return on investment is the profitability metrics. It is a profitability metric used to evaluate how well an investment has performed. So, we can calculate return on investment or ROI by dividing the net profit by the capital or the cost of investment. So what is social entrepreneurship? So to define it, uh, it is referred to as the new form of entrepreneurship that exhibits characteristics of nonprofit organizations or governments and businesses. It is by Karatko 2012. So that is by definition. So what is uh, social entrepreneurs? So, ang social entrepreneurs naman, they are the people who spearhead organizations that engage in social entrepreneurship. They are referred to as public entrepreneurs or civic entrepreneurs or social innovators. So, they are also identified as change agents because they uh, create large scale change using pattern breaking ideas and address the root causes of social problems so these social entrepreneurs kuratko further uh, elaborated that they possess the ambition to create systematic change by introducing a new concept and persuade others to adapt it so they also combine innovative practices in uh, in-depth knowledge of their issue area and cutting-edge research to achieve their goals. So for social entrepreneurs, innovation is not a one-time event. Instead, it is a lifetime pursuit. So it's a lifestyle. So to compare business entrepreneurs from social entrepreneurs, these business entrepreneurs, they are known to be the traditional entrepreneurs in terms of goal. Uh, business entrepreneurs or these traditional ones, they capture a market securely. So, their main focus or their goal is the market share. How about the social entrepreneurs? So, what they are focusing is how could they fill a market gap or how could they change the world? What is the need in a specific market? So, one of their objectives or uh, their objectives could be for social entrepreneurs is to create sustainable solutions for social change not just to earn profit but to create sustainability but for traditional entrepreneurs they are more focused on building the business and earning profits they are uh, profit motivated for business entrepreneurs their motivation is uh, maximize a shareholder value or profit as an end well for social entrepreneurs their profit motive is to advance social aims so they profit is a means to financial sustainability so profit is only a means well their main focus is social aims for risk for 
business entrepreneurs, ba basic business risk lang. Pero sa social entrepreneurs, basic business risk plus social aspect. And for the linkages or links to social problems, indirect si business entrepreneurs. Because their main focus, again, is to earn profit. While social entrepreneurs, uh, they are directly related to social problems because one of their main focus is to sustain or uh, fill a specific gap or solve a specific problem. For feedback, traditional entrepreneurs, they establish customers and market information sources. So... For social entrepreneurs, they need to be creative in obtaining market and responses. So, uh, they are really uh, specific with uh, how to sustain a specific market by being creative, not just by establishing consumer and market information sources. For business entrepreneurs, for uh, in terms of competition, Win for one business over others in a market. Well, for so social entrepreneurs, they exist because no one else adequately solve the problem or adequately solving problem. They, they, their target is to win for society. So, while the business entrepreneurs win for one business over the others. So, Competition based. Itong isa naman because there is no other people or other businesses who are solving the problem or who can solve a problem, a specific problem. That's why they are existing. In terms of growth, uh, competitive for one company, for traditional entrepreneurs and for social entrepreneurs, they're collaborative for social impact. So they collaborate with different agencies, they are focused on how could they deal with certain problems. In terms of capital, traditional entrepreneurs, they benefit from robust financial and managerial services. And for social entrepreneurs, they contend with unpredictable and fragmented financing. So one of the problems or could be the problems of social entrepreneurs is uh, finances because they are most, more focused on uh, filling gaps more than earning. So that is for the uh, comparison between traditional entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs. So Kuratko identified different activities that characterize social entrepreneurs. One of these are adoption of mission to generate and sustain social value. Uh, and also recognition and exploitation of opportunities for social value. So we have to recognize or these social entrepreneurs recognizes and exploits the opportunities. So there are a lot of uh, entrepreneurs. Example is Cecilio Pedro. He's a social entrepreneur because as we all know, he focuses or one of his uh, ideals or his advocacy is to give God the glory by uh, employing and educating deafs and the mute. So this is one of his uh, advocacy wherein he, uh, he is able to exploit the opportunity for to get the market. So if you are a buyer, uh, sometimes you will think, I'll rather buy from someone who has a social responsibility or who has a social advocacy or who is able to uh, give a difference within the community than someone who is only earning for profit. So, murag mubalik in terms of sustainability panimo. If you will support those people who has a uh, focus on a certain uh, advocacy. So, moreover... Social entrepreneurs engage in continuous innovation and learning. So action beyond the limited sources at hand and they are heightened. They have heightened sense of accountability. Moreover, so we will define social responsibility. So what is re what is social responsibility? So from what we have discussed, hence social responsibility means that individuals and companies have duty to act in the best interests of their environment and society as a whole. That's from Investopedia 2021. 
So, social responsibility is uh, doing something, no? In the interest of the environment and society. What is the interest of the society? So, next we have to understand the nature of businesses or business responsibility to the environment, to the customers, to the investors, and to the community. So, typically, we must understand that businesses have responsibilities to several key stakeholders, including the environment, employees, not just the customers, but the investors and the community. So, there are nature of so social enter enterprise. So, we have a responsibility in the following. So, nature or social enterprise consists of obligations uh, a business has to society. First obligation is in the environment. You know? So, in our environment, we have the responsibility to control pollution, of course, to protect the environment. Dili lang basta mahurot sigig pangisda, but we have to protect it. Uh, dili apilo ng mga gagmay. So, in our business, when we have, or, or one day, nanatay dako nga mga business, this is one of the things that we have to consider. Natural resources, conservation, efforts in recycling. Para dili mo daghan ang atong basura, di tamatabunan og basura. Alright, so next is, we also have energy obligation. So, conservation in energy, in production. So, energy conservation, no? It is uh, one of our responsibilities in marketing operations and other energy saving programs. No? So, one, one example is again by Cecilio Pedro. I saw in his YouTube uh, one of the videos nga gipakita ang sulod sa ilahang production area. No? One of their, as they are a socially responsible, socially inclined entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs. Si Cecilio Pedro, na si ay murag uh, aircon, air continuous. So, korug na siya yung mga sa wall, instead of installing air conditioners, nga mo emit o chlorofluorocarbon, which is uh, not good in our environment. It causes. Uh, uh, it's one of the greenhouse gases that um, will contribute to additional heat or increased heat sa ato ang uh, world na maka, maka affect po sa ato ang climate change. Instead of using air conditioners, ang iyang gibuhat, he used kanang water evaporator uh, pang palit sa aircon. So, instead of using air conditioner, environment-friendly, ang uh, gigamit ni Pedro Cecilio nga pang pabog na sa ilahang factory. So, ayan. So, kindly watch our example. Katong to asya sa link. So, look how this entrepreneur become really inclined with social responsibility as their mission is making a difference to give God the glory. So, to continue, next is the fair business practices. So, one of our obligations is to employ and advancement of women also. Advancement and employment of disadvantaged individual. This includes mga disabled or former drug addicts you know, or har hardcore unemployed or kagaya nung kanyang kay Pedro Cecilio fair business practices he is employing equal employment opportunity while he is employing deaf you no know? Another example or another obligation that we have is the human resources, human resources obligations. So, this is the promotion of employee health and safety, employee training and development, remedial education programs for disadvantaged employees, so alcohol and drug counseling programs and career counseling. Another thing is community involvement. So, 
One could be a donation of cash or products or services, or it could be donation or sponsorship, public health projects, provision of support for programs engaged in recreation, pa basketball, no? So, sa kabarangay, no? So, you can be involved in the community in certain manners. So, community projects or cooperations like recycling centers, disaster assistance, and urban renewal. Ayan. So, also products. So, enhancement for product safety, sponsorship of product safety education programs, pwedeng reduction of pollution potential of products. No? So, there, there are businesses nga they are promoting kada mga recycling of uh, 1.5 liters ng mga soft drinks. So, ilabot nga noong uh, cement. Then, mao ilang gamiton nga pang pagahi sa mga walls. So, I've seen that in one of uh, the islands nga among naadohan. So, improvement in the nutritional value of products, improvement of packaging and labeling. So, these are one of our social responsibilities. So, specifically, uh, an entrepreneur could encourage recycling. Yan. Support local fundraisers or we can join in community service, reduce energy usage, create a grant program, support local causes or partner with local schools. So, Koratko, in 2012, he formulated a framework that would best classify the social actions of corporations. So, this figure, it shows the distinct differences in how corporations respond to social issues. It can be classified into three categories. So, first is the social obligation, next is the social enterprise, and the social responsiveness. So, this framework, it illustrates the range of corporate intensity about social issues. So, some firms react to social problems through obedience to the laws. So, that is social obligation. There are also who are, who are actively responding or accepting responsibility for various programs. So, that is social responsibility. But still, there are also others who are very proactive and are socially responsible. So, these are the three categories. So, for response to social pressures, the social obligation, it maintains low public profile. But if attacked, uses uh, PR methods to upgrade the public image or public relation methods. So, they denies any deficiencies, blames the public dissatisfaction on ignorance or failure to understand corporate functions, discloses information only where legally required. So, they are the ones who are uh, obedient to the laws. Uh, they are only uh, abiding to the laws. But there are also who are socially responsible. Uh, ang last social responsiveness. So social responsible, uh, in terms of social pressures, they accept responsibility for solving current problems. They will admit deficiencies in former practices and attempt to persuade the public that is currently practicing uh, to meet social norms. And attitude towards critics, conciliatory, freer information, disclose, disclosures at that stage, then stage one. So when we say uh, conciliatory, this is an act of compromising, no? Or you will give in. So for social responsiveness, in terms of social pressures, uh, they are will willingly discusses activities with outside groups. They make information freely available to public. They accept formal and uh, formal and informal inputs from outside groups in decision making and they are willing to be publicly evaluated for its uh, various activities so they are socially responsive so in terms of philanthropy for those who are socially uh, social obligation stage one so in this stage an entrepreneur they contribute only when um, direct benefit to it uh, clearly shown otherwise uh, views contribution as a responsibility of individual uh, 
uh, employee. So unless there is no direct benefit, uh, they are not willing no, to contribute. For those who are socially responsible or those entrepreneurs that is already in this stage, in terms of philanthropy, they contribute to non-controversial and established causes. This uh, ma matches employee contributions. And for those who are socially responsive, activities of stage 2 plus support and contributions to new controversial groups who, whose uh, needs it sees as unfulfilled and increasingly important. So, morning stages of... Uh, entrepreneurial behavior or social entrepreneurial behavior so business responsibility to, to the environment so due to a strong personal belief in environmental protection many entrepreneurs seek to start ventures that have a positive impact on the environment or take steps to operate their businesses in ways that help protect the environment so as a business owner or as a future or potential uh, entrepreneur, we have business responsibility to the environment. So, social responsible business owners focus on three R's. So, these are reduce, reuse, and recycle. So, when we say reduce, we reduce the amount of energy and materials used in our company from the factory floor to the copier room. So, from sa pinaka-wire, pinaka-malaki, or pinaka-major uh, na ito ng mga rooms up to the pinaka-less uh, ng mga used rooms or less ng mga uh, important, I mean, uh, I think. Uh, so, we reduce the consumption of energy. Reuse. So, we should reuse whatever you can. If we can reuse something, you no. Know? So, this is one of uh, the characteristics or one of the things that we could do to be socially responsible in terms of our environment. And we can also recycle the materials that you must dispose of. So, instead of simply disposing things, we could recycle. And another is uh, employees. So, our responsibilities to the employees. So, employees are at the heart of increasing in productivity and they add the personal tough that puts passion in customer service. In short, employee produce the winning competitive advantage for an entrepreneur. So, to have a good standing in front of your uh, customers, of course, first take care of your employees. Kay sila man ang... Uh, frontliners sa imuhang business. So, entrepreneurs who understand the value of their employees follow a few simple procedures by doing the following. So, listening to employees and respecting their opinions. So, importante, dili lang ikaw ang pirming sakto. Also, asking for their inputs and involving them in the decision-making process. So, it is important to involve them Aside from getting their affirmation, you can get also their commitments. So, when you involve them in the decision-making process or the target-making process, no? so, you could get their opinions if the set outputs or the set performance is achievable ba? Ayan. Also, providing regular feedback, positive and negative too, Employee. So, it is important to hear uh, from them. So, also telling them the truth always. So, I've experienced once na, na ako yung employer na okay siya sa tubangan. Pero, sige siya bagot but if nagtalikod. It is really important na ma kama ang Osaka employer how to deal with employees in terms of uh, being frank but uh, frank Pero straightforward, pero though sometimes masakit, straightforward pero friendly, kumbaga. So, always tell them the truth. You could be frank, but in a good way. So, letting them also know exactly what what's expected of them. So, it is important nga mahibawaan nila what is expected of them for them para maka uh, same page mo, no? In terms of their... Uh, I apologize no, for the sound. But in terms of uh, their uh, performance, 
they could be able to uh, adjust. Another is rewarding employees for performing their jobs well. So, ayan. Number one, itong motivational factor, ang reward. So, it could be uh, recognition, it could be monetary, you know? it could be of goods. So, also trusting them, creating an environment of respect and teamwork. So, of course, even you, if you know that someone trusts you, you don't want to fail them. So, na a psychological effect, no? So, that is for the responsibility to employees. So, next is the business responsibility to investors. So, companies have the responsibility to provide investors with an attractive return on their investments. So, as we've discussed earlier, when we say return on investment, it is ROI or the net, uh, net income divided by the uh, net investment or the investment or the capital that which we have invested. So, although earning a profit may be a company's first responsibility, it is not its only responsibility. Me meeting its ethical and social responsibility goals is also a key to success. So, there are investors who are keen with social responsibilities. They look for companies who are not only concerned with profit, but also with uh, social factors or social responsibility. So, investors today want to know the entrepreneurs uh, are making ethical decisions and acting in social responsible manner. So, business responsibility to community also class. So, as a corporate citizens, businesses have a responsibility to the communities in which they operate. In addition to providing jobs and creating wealth, companies contribute to the local community in many different ways. So the following are just a few examples of ways in which small businesses have found to give back their communities. First is to act as a volunteer for community groups, literacy programs, and community food banks. Next is to participate in projects that aid the elderly or economically disadvantaged. So, same sa atong example, they were actually doing uh, graces to those who are deaf, deaf, deaf <laughs> and mute. So, another is to adopt a highway near the business to promote a clean community. So, community service. Another is to volunteer in school programs such as junior achievement. So, business responsibility to customers, we also have responsibility to our customers. One of the most important group of stakeholders that a business must satisfy is, of course, its customers. Because they are the one whom we are offering our products and services. So, building and maintaining a base of loyal customers is no easy task because... It requires more than just a uh, more than just selling a product or service. So the key is to build long-term relationships with customers. That's why you will notice class in some supermarket na ay mga rewards card or na ay kanang uh, loyalty card because they are expecting uh, ngadto ka pirmi mo palit because of the points. So that is one of their strategies to build long-term relationships with customers. So, for business responsibility in customers, we have the Republic Act Number 7394, also known as the Consumer Act of the Philippines. So, ato ni siyang studyhan class. So, unsa man ang ato ang responsibility to customers. Okay, so as the Department of Trade and Industry, through the Consumer Policy and Advocacy Bureau or CPAB under the Consumer Protection Group or CPG, uh, which has the celebration of the World's Consumer Rights Day, WCRD in the Philippines, the department reminds everyone to be properly informed on their rights and responsibilities as consumers. So, kita, we must be informed. We must know our rights and responsibilities. So, the DTI, or DTI reiterates the importance of consumers knowing their rights and responsibilities for protection against dishonest traders and defective products and entrepreneurs. So, as an entrepreneur, we have responsibility in terms of honesty, no? And of course, as a consumer, dapat kahibaw ta sa ato ang rights. So, what are these rights? So, 
first is the right to basic needs. So, we have eight consumer rights under the Consumer Act of the Philippines, RA 7394. Eight consumer rights and five responsibilities. First right is the right to basic needs. On sa maning right to basic needs. So, when we say right to basic needs, everybody has the right to access ato ang basic needs. In short, ikaw, be conscious sa quality sa imong gipalit. At the same time, uh, na ay mga in times nga emergency, no? na, ay, na ay mga times nga bagyo, ayaw pag panic buying. Kay, uh, na kay right to access basic needs as well as other people. The consumer right guarantee survival, adequate food, clothing, shelter, healthcare, education, and sanitation. Next right is the right to safety. So, what should we do? So, the consumer right, uh, we have the right to be protected from hazard, from uh, things or from products which are hazardous to health. So, what must we do? Of course, we must check the labels. Tanaw na ito ang mga gipalit. If naabasay consumer, consume before expiry date or best before, FDA approved ba na siya? Na ba na expiration? Otherwise, pwede na siya ni mo i- a complain, no? So, pwede ni mo tawagan ang uh, manufacturer, how come wala expiry date? We have the right to safety. So, how come wala ingon ani? Next is, it depends the product, no? Another kind of products or another type of products, katong food and drugs. So, under siya sa FDA, so dapat na FDA. Na po yung mga products nga dapat makita na talaga ng mga electrical products. Uh, Kana mga helmets, so, no? Dapat na ay ICC or na ay PS mark, what does this mean? So, when we say PS, PS mark, uh, maunin siya ang uh, certified ng imuhang products are uh, naabot niya ang quality sa mga products nga agihimo sa Philippines. Sa mga ICC products naman, these are for the imported commodities. These are uh, uh, certification marks nga naabot ani nga mga imported products ang uh, target or ang dapat nga quality standards ani nga mga uh, gamit or mga products so that is for our right to safety next is the right to information so before signing any document so of course you must read because you have the right to information di ka pwede pugson mo pirma and of course uh, you have the right to be protected against dishonest or misleading advertising or labels. So, in short, if na kay makita, magsuri-suri ka sa supermarket. And then, na ay misleading ang mga facts nga nakabutang dito. So, that's why gani, kanang ano gani, kanang mga herbal products nga makaingon nga tambal sa ingon ani. That's why gipabot nga og no uh, non-therapeutic claims unsay pasabot anang ah, non-therapeutic claim so it means di siya tambal so in short tahi, di siya tambal pero possible maka uh, support sa imong immune system para ma fight ang mga bacteria pero hindi siya tambal so that's why we have the right to information misleading also like uh, lahi ang price tag nga nakabutang or buy one take one and then misleading kaayo kay kuha ni mo ang usa and then ma ano di ayto kanang uh, di day ka ka, ka avail sa ilahang promotion unless nga uh, three ang imong gikuha and then ang nakabutang lang nga prices ang pang usa so nguna na ba so dapat uh, we have the right to information pwede day ta mo reklamo no another thing is class dapat na ay ingon aning makit an sa ato ang mga products nga pamalitunon so, words such as external or internal, makita ng precautions, makita ng chemical contents, limitations, and expiry dates. So, dapat makita ni siya sa mga labels. Alright, so next is the right to choose. We have the right to choose. So, the consumer rights to choose products at competitive prices with an assurance of safe and quality products. So, on sa may dapat buhaton, we must read the labels. Then, on which are genuine and which are fake. Mag-canvas, anayta before mo palit. If products testers are available, try them. So, be cautious of special offers like free items or buy to take one. 
So, if makita na itong na ay mga promotion, like ingon ani, buy to take one, dapat na ay DTI permit number. So, if na ay mga sale, dapat na ay DTI permit number. So, unang ilahang dapat certificate. So, next is we have the right to representation. So, the consumer rights to express consumer interest in making and executing of government policies. So, sa ibuhaton dapat na to. We have the right to representation. So, take time to attend public hearings and consultations and be observant of how consumer laws are being implemented, applied in the areas, oh no? proposed through consumer organizations and organizations and implement agencies so we have the right nga ma-organize sa so, nga usa ka organization to be heard this will promote the welfare and protect the interest of consumers so next is we have the right to redress unsa man ning right to redress so as a as a customer we have actually or we are entitled for repair, replacement, and refund. So, if only faulty or defective ang ato ang napalit ng product. So, if you were deceived also by or misrepresentations made or concealed by the seller, no? Or you were taken advantage of by the seller. However, so ibig sabihin bawal yung mga nakalagay class na uh, no refund policy. Pero, the business may refuse these three R's or the repair, replacement, or refund policy. They may refuse them with the absence of receipt or the proof of purchase. Or like, ah, di na lang nga ako paliton. Nga naman to, kaya nagbago na kong huna-huna. So, di na siya pwede. Uh, or, ikaw ang nakaguba. Di na ako paliton, kaya nagbong man ako paggawas na sa tindahan. So, di siya pwede. And knowledge of the defects, shoddy quality from date of purchase or low quality. So, kahibaw ka nga, gubaon siya, pero imo gipalit. Like, niingo na ang ano, okay na ma'am, na-crack. And then, suddenly, after ni mong i-purchase, ali na lang ko kayo na-crack, di siya pwede kay, you, all, you already have the knowledge of the defect. So, pursuant to Republic Act Number no. 7394, no return and no exchange or words to such effect shall not be written into the contract of sale, receipt, or sales transaction in any document evidencing such a sale or anywhere in the store or business establishment. Hindi siya pwede. It's unlawful. Pwede na siya ireklamo ka lang na yung mga nakabutangan. No return, no exchange policy. So the prohibition aims to correct the misconception of lots of consumers that they do not have the right to return shoddy or defective goods or demand for remedies in case of defective or imperfect service because of the no return, no exchange policy. Uh, notice or no exchange, no return policy notice in the receipts or anywhere in the business establishment. Bawal na nga na nakabutang sa resibo or any contract. Anang no return, no exchange policy. Dapat i-compensate ang ato ang uh, ang ato ang cash, no? If na ay mga defects, pwede na siyang iuli. Okay, so next is right to consumer education. So, what to do? We have to read, listen, and watch. We have to involve ourselves. We have to be aware, participate in consumer education activities. No, so, the consumer rights to acquire the knowledge and skills necessary to be informed consumer. So, that's why uh, DTI is uh, investing time para may pahibaw sa public ang ilahang rights because of the right to consumer education. Next is the right to a healthy environment. So, this is one or this is the last right under Republic Act, Act number 7394. So, because we have the right, everybody has or everybody uh, has the right to a healthy environment, the consumer right to live and work in an environment which is neither threatening nor dangerous and which permits a life of dignity and well-being 
So, including uh, kanang saba, noise, pollution, everybody has the right to silence. So, that's why, uh, what should we do? So, kining reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse. So, this is, gito blo. So, sa una, three hours siya, no? Katong reuse kanina. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Kanon na ano refuse. So, we revisit policies which strengthens and empowers of implementing agencies and intensify monitoring and enforcement. So, when we say refuse, kanang mga gilabog na. No? So, gamitan pa nato. Kuha o balik para magamit o throw. So, we also have consumer responsibilities. What are those? First is the critical awareness. Ang critical awareness na itong responsibility is our responsibility to be more aware, alert and inquisitive about the use, price, and quality of goods and services. We have to take time to read labels or look for tag marks. So, di pwede ang mga product tayo mo ato supermarket and then walay tags or walay, uh, like, walay prices nga nakabutang sa shelves. So, it is your... Uh, it, if you're a businessman, it's your responsibility to put those. And as a consumer, they, it is their responsibility to know this information. Next class is the action. <clears throat> the responsibility of consumers to assert ourselves and act to ensure that we get a fair deal. So, as long as we remain passive consumers, we will continue to be exploited. Sabi nga nila, walang manloloko kung walang nagpapa. Loco. So, awareness is useless if we do not assert it. Although government conducts regular monitoring, it has it, its own limitations also. So, your cooperation through reports or complaints is very important. So, whenever your rights are uh, neglected, you may file a complaint. So, next class is the responsibility of uh, social concern so the consumers responsibility to be aware of the impact of our consumption on the other citizens so especially the disadvantaged or powerless groups whether in the local national or international community uh, this will be uh, referring to the right to basic needs so do not engage in pan panic buying or hoarding because uh, everybody has the right to uh, basic needs and of course to a healthy environment so next class is the consumer responsibility to understand the environmental consequences of our consumption so we should recognize our individual and social responsibility to conserve natural resources and protect the earth for future generation so right to a healthy environment uh, Tapat mo, linisin mo, no? or trash segregation. You can apply this. So, next class is our responsibility to uh, organize together as a consumer to develop the strength and influence to promote and protect ourselves or to protect our interests. So, we could organize. So, we may form a group or organization. So, this is to advocate and practice the eight basic consumer rights and five consumer Responsibil responsibilities rather so everyone ma must in the exercise of his rights and in the performance of his duties act with justice give everyone his due and observe honesty and good faith so business must do more than merely earn profits so they must act ethically and in a socially responsible manner so this is what we must remember so what are the key steps that were identified to guide entrepreneurs in formulating practical practical and clearly stated strategies first is the uh, elimination of the waste or eliminate the waste concept so one may seek the best methods of recycling and uh, production next is to promote diversity which is to continue to research the need compatibility of our ever-evolving products and inventions. Next is to restore accountability. Encourage customer involvement in making companies accountable for their actions. Next class is to make prices reflect costs incurred. So, restructure the system to incorporate a green fee. 
So where taxes are added to energy, raw materials, and services to encourage conservation. So one may add a green fee or greening fee. So this is to promote environmental conservation. Next is make conservation profitable. So rather than demanding low prices, we could encourage products or product shortcuts. So, this is to allow net costs for environmental stewardship. So, baga may fee. This is for environmental conservation again. Next is the insist accountability of nations. So, one may devise a plan for every trading nation of sustainable development enforced by... So, what are these? Of course, tariffs. Taripa, no? This is the accountability of nations to protect our uh, environment. This is by Hawken and McDonough. So, that's all for today. So, for our assessment task, the deadline is uh, the meeting after midterm. So, I have posted the link already. And for your learning task, 3.2. So, go back to the entrepreneurs you have interviewed after you've been grouped together. So, your groupings have been sent to your uh, respective group chats. So, kindly coordinate with your group members. So, create a success story among one of your respondents. Indicate the initial capital from which they have started and how much could have been their progress right now. So, it could be in terms of capital or sales. So, indicate their advocacy if they have been promoting one, registrations, and or awards if there is any. You can also include the challenges they have faced and how they have overcome these. So, you may include information from the interview and include a picture of the business enterprise or the owner and the products or services that they offer. So, the deadline is again meeting after the midterm. So, if you have questions and concerns, please uh, message me. So, that is all for today. So, thank you so much. And uh, this is the end of uh, 3.2 presentation. <laughs>